Good morning and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us at EKLESF 2022. I'm Dr. Ong Kya Ju from University Tunggu Abdul Rahman Yitar. Today, Dr. Tan Chi Wee will be presenting a webinar titled, AI is actually studying in secondary schools. Are you aware? Dr. Tan is a senior lecturer from the Department of Computer Science and Embedded Systems, Faculty of Computing and Information Technology, Tunggu Abdul Rahman University of Management and Technology. TAR UMT. Just a little housekeeping before we start. If you have any questions, please type them in the chat box. We will bring them up during the Q&A session at the end of this webinar. All participants, please sign your attendance in the link posted in the chat box. Without further delay, let us turn the time over to Dr. Tan. Over yeah, to you, Dr. Tan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, th thank you, our uh, lovely MC. And uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, a very good morning to uh, to everyone here. I'm um, so glad that you are managed to uh, join our to join my little sharing sessions at this uh, very wonderful Saturday morning. So uh, let's start our uh, sharing today. So I'm going to uh, share my um, slides here. So uh, participants, if if you are able to hear me clear if you can see the screen well i appreciate that you you type a one uh, in the chat room there so that i know that you can see my slides ah lovely thank you so much so uh later uh uh, you are so welcome uh, to interact with me uh, maybe you're going to uh uh, let me know your question, and then uh, we can definitely uh, interact uh, in the inside uh, this uh, chat room. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, my title, uh, as we said just now, um, I'm trying to uh, make everybody aware that artificial intelligence is actually learned in secondary school. So, uh, maybe yes or maybe no, but what is actually the foundation of AI or sometimes uh, it associate with data science, uh, we're talking about uh, machine learning and also etc. So uh, I prepare a few uh, activity. The first one, so this is something like a, a survey. So my question to you, the first one, yeah. Artificial intelligence, so select one or many that is uh, explain your understanding about AI. So uh, what to do now? Take out your mobile phone, scan the QR code there. Alternately, you can uh, join us at slidedo.com. Once you enter the website, key in. 3901218. Um, you can actually select one or more here. Yeah? So I prepare a few options here. Um, as easy as ABC, that means uh, you understand it very well about AI. Or maybe you will say Susa Gila. <laughs> oh, I can see some of you are uh, coming in already. And definitely, uh, I, I prepared something that I let you uh, to uh, answer me. I let you to contribute to this um, one hour sharing sessions. Okay, I, I can see the bar is actually moving. Just speak, uh, maybe you can select all. Uh, it is up to you. Uh, as long as it explains about your understanding about AI, it will do. Okay, I can see more and more people is actually joining us. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much.
So for uh, newcomers, if you just join our uh, talk, you can scan the QR code on the screen or alternately, uh, you can go to the website and key in the password. I just want to gather, um, I just want to understand you better. Huh? All right. So maybe we're going to stop after uh, two minutes. So if you are together with, with us here today, you are so welcome uh, to contribute, yeah? Okay, right now, I can see from my screen, it is a specific application of AI, including natural language processing. In short, we call it as a NLP, yeah, NLP. Um, we also have uh, speech recognitions and also computer visions. Uh, that is 80% uh, of you. Uh, another one, the simulation of human intelligent processes by the machine. So I guess the key word here uh, should referring to uh, human intelligence, I would say. Yeah, so AI is actually not something new. We are talking about our brain itself, right? And secondly, we're trying to transplant we're trying to move all of our world here into the machine. Okay, and uh, some some of you uh, mentioned that oh, AI is very easy, as easy as ABC. Hmm. And it seems like uh, we do not have uh, any participants uh, go for susagila. Uh, it it is a very good sign actually. When we when we are going to learn something new, and and we if you uh, already preempt yourself, you already told yourself in the very first place, um, that is very difficult. That is very susa. So, uh, maybe a little bit difficult for you to go beyond. Okay, so uh, I would say uh, thank you so much. Now let's move to our table of content today which is uh, what to cover today. So uh, I'm, well, I will go for a little bit about prospects. That means why I need to learn AI. And the second part will be some very interesting use case. I'm going to show you what is really happening out there. Is there any company that make use of AI? Because we have heard about AI so many, many times. So what is it actually? Then the third part will be the secondary school syllabus. I'm trying to answer our topic today. AI is actually studied in secondary school, but did you aware that? And the last part will be a small quiz. So actually it is only one single question. So make sure that you stay tuned. Uh, with us, uh, make sure that uh, you answer the thing. Uh, uh, the fastest one, as most accurate one, then uh, we will give you a, a small gift on that. All right, so let's continue. So part one, prospects. So, uh, as I mentioned, why it is important. So I'm going to start with a super duper huge number. So this, uh, how we pronounce this one, uh, uh, you, you can call it as a 44 ba, 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 uh, gigabyte, or uh, more specifically, we call it as a 44 zettabyte. I would say that every single of us is producing data even though you do not touch your mobile phone you just listen to my talk and you actually generate some data not to mention that uh, google assistant huawei Celia, or apple series 
uh, often when I finish the entire uh, lecture and when I move to uh, my mobile phone, I look at my Google News, my Google homepage. Uh. So that is the title, that is the thing that I'm being taught, uh, that I'm being teach uh, in my uh, lesson. Yeah. So uh, from here, uh, we can actually notice that ha, huh, we are generating some data. How about uh, Meta? How about Facebook? How about our uh, Instagram? When you search for something, then in other uh, mobile application, it actually recommends us with something. So I would say that the exponential growth of data is uh, indisputable. But the number behind this explosive growth driven by the uh, internet of things, by the artificial intelligence, by the data science, and the use of, of all these things is uh, exponentially uh, grow in a super duper fast manner. So today you may hear about gigabyte. Um, our, gigabyte our mobile phone is uh, how many GB uh, usually. Then we move it to the terabyte or maybe a petabyte. And now uh, we have this uh, 44 zettabyte. So what is this uh, 44 zettabyte? This is the data that, uh, that we're going to uh, produce uh, accumulately by the end of 2020. Yes, you heard it correctly. Two years ago. So what is this big number? Uh, this would means it is 40 times uh, 40 times as many apps uh, uh, observable star in the galaxy uh, 44 times you know so continue uh, artificial intelligence has come into our eyes into everybody's eyes uh, the moment you buy a a television, a smart TV, they're going to mention that uh, they're using AI. In mobile phone, they are actually using AI. So uh, we can see that many uh, products that is related to our uh, daily life, actually. Let me give you some example. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of you are aware that when you charge your mobile phone, Oh, yeah, when you charge your mobile phone overnight, for example, I'm using a H brand. So I noticed that when I plug in my charger, when I plug in my charger, then uh, at certain times, uh, it comes up a notification and saying that uh, the phone is actually stopped charging. So what is this actually really happen? Our mobile phone try to predict. Okay, usually you sleep on this time. You're going to wake up tomorrow morning around 7.30. So uh, they will intelligently uh, stop the charging and wait. So let's say uh, 7.30, eh? I'm going to wake up. So... Uh, the mobile phone is going to uh, do the reverse engineering. Ah, okay, you're going to wake up 7.30. So to complete the charging, so the mobile phone is going to charge from, let's say, 6.30. So why are we going to implement such a mechanism into our mobile phone? Any idea? Any idea? Why our mobile phone do not continue charging overnight from the moment you plug in the charger, the adapter? It's because we're trying to prevent overcharge so that we can prolong the battery lifespan. Yeah? So uh, throughout uh, my sharing, later you can try to um, imagine you can try to relate with your mobile applications. You can try to relate your mobile applications uh, in your hand. 
maybe you're going to think about the camera or the mei tu xiu xiu or uh, there is a uh, there is a touch and go for example uh, there is a lazada there's a shopee oh there, 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 are, there are so many uh, applications uh, inside uh, one more our uh, photo gallery when you trying to recall when you're trying to search there is a photo that uh, there is a blue flower there so you can search inside the gallery for a blue flower then it, it is going to return us with the photo that you want to search so all these things is actually ai yeah so uh, what happened in uh, Ta UMT, Tunku Abdul Rahman University of Management and Technology? So we uh, we led our students uh, to explore on AI in the various various uh, field. For example, we can use um, the camera to detect what our friends, what our students is doing inside the class. Are they working? Are they moving? Then uh, we also can do uh, face recognitions to understand that ha, huh, this student is on June 5. Huh. And another student will be Ng Ming something. Okay. And we also can detect like uh, is it the worker wearing a, a helmet, the safety helmet, and also etc. So to continue, so AI is a branch of computer science that use computer technology to understand and also analyze the nature of uh, human intelligence. And the goal is trying to like duplicate our intelligence, duplicate our cognitive uh, capabilities into the machine. Yeah. All right, some, some classic use case. So what is happening out there? The first use case is a, a retail supermarket in US. They call Target. So this Target is trying to create a model. It's trying to understand uh, the, the woman uh, purchase behavior. So the story goes, a father uh, of a girl, they're going to the target supermarket. He, he, he going there, going to the customer service and ask, hey, what's wrong with you? Your company, uh, you sent my 17 years old daughter a shopping voucher, you know, a shopping coupon. So that shopping coupon it's for the kids, for the 17 years old daughter to buy uh, baju baby, the baby clothes, uh, the diapers, and also the baby uh, trolley. And he's only 17, you know. Are you trying to encourage her to get pregnant? So the father is so angry. Huh? So after one month, what happened actually, everybody? Try to make a guess. What happened? <laughs> After the father going um, to the customer service and trying to scold them to complain, you sending a shopping coupon for my kids, for my daughter to buy baby-related products. Oh, what happened there? Oh, yeah, sorry. Huh? Uh, my understanding, uh, maybe some of you is actually watching uh, this uh, live streaming over the Facebook, I believe. So maybe you are not all able to interact with me, but I think it is fine. Keep your uh, answer uh, with you. <laughs> okay, so after one month later, the 17 years old daughter pregnant 
it's not because of um, the, this uh, supermarket encourage this uh, young lady to pregnant, but the supermarket already uh, predict based on the purchase behavior. Ah, okay, uh, last two months, you stop uh, buying something, but you start buying something, for example, vitamin, uh, folic acid, or you start uh, buy some uh, pregnancy test kit and also etc. Yeah. And the second one is uh, I, I guess this is so uh, popular uh, nowadays. We just key in the text. So uh, for those of you, if you want to try, you can go to the website called deepai.org. I repeat deepai.org so once you enter there uh, we can key in some text and then uh, this uh, AI platform is going to convert the text into image already so last night I tried out two examples first one is a cat uh, eating KFC and this is the result uh, that is being generated. Uh, another one, uh, the Avatar movie. Yeah, the latest Avatar movie already out. Yeah, so make sure you, you, you go there and having the blue popcorn. <laughs> so I tried that, uh, this uh, sentence, the Avatar movie in 2025. I just want to go a little bit ahead. So let the machine to... Uh, get the data online and from the databases, then it actually comes up something uh, pretty interesting. I would say that uh, the result on the left-hand side is uh, pretty interesting. Whereby on the right-hand side, at least it shows us a creatures here. <laughs> show us a creatures which is a blue color. Uh, and I believe the avatar is about uh, blue avatar. And this, this is a blue one. Continue. We have some uh, emotion detection. So I can detect whether I'm showing my happy face, an ugly face, uh, a neutral face, and etc. Now, uh, we move to our main content today. So, uh, the moment when I comes out this uh, topic, uh, uh, there are some of my friends and also my colleagues asking me, hey, Bia, betul, are we really learning AI in secondary school? So uh, to answer everybody's uh, curiosity, so let's go. First thing, why we learn matrices i believe that uh, most of the students in school they're going to ask their mathematics a teacher so uh the the picture on the screen is extracted from our mathematic form 5 uh kbkk textbooks on form 5 chapter 2 we learn about matrix yeah mm -hmm. so uh so what is the relationship between matrix and also AI? I'm trying to map this one with image processing. In the beginning of the sharing, I'm saying that um, our mobile application, when you turn on the camera, you capture a photo, you turn on the beautify function, the beautification functions, then uh, the the camera can remove our pimples. So here, imagine right now I have a three times three matrix. And for your information, for the PC to process our image, we're going to look at the pixel. Uh, so pixel is the small units about a photo. Imagine 
all of the pixel value, they are 200. Yeah, so, but pimples now, they are sangat merah ma. So this uh, red dish thing, this uh, a more intense red color is a higher pixel value. Uh, this is just for example, yeah. So if you are uh, learn about metrics, you learn about mathematics. So how can we remove this pimple two two zero out from a matrix here? Once again, um, you are welcome to interact with me by using the chat room function, yeah, everybody. Any ideas? Ah? How can we make this pimple, make this 220 disappear? Give you some hints. Ah. Plus, minus, multiplication. Division. I have minimum, maximum. Ah, I can see our friends here. Uh, sorry if I did not pronounce your name correctly. Uh, ya Ya Roy. Please allow me to call you Roy. Yeah. So uh, our friends here, Roy, is saying that is going to minus twenty. A brilliant one. A brilliant one. This is possible. Ah. Uh, uh, different phone manufacturer, different uh, software developer, they make use of different methods. So uh, I love to associate this kind of theory, this kind of theory with, I'm sorry, I think the minus 20 is, is the correct one. Uh, it's already correct, yeah, but we have so many ways uh, for us to achieve the same goal. So uh, my... Uh, my method will be like, you know, there is a uh, saying that um, if you are within your groups, you're sharing the same bau. Uh, in, in Chinese, we, we call it as a wu yi lei ju ren yi qun fen. That means um, we are dividing the people based on their taste, based on their characteristic, based on their behavior. So if you love to exercise, that means I believe that some uh the people around you they also love to exercise. So 20 uh 220, uh this is uh, something big. I can make average average huh, 200 plus 200 plus plus okay add in all tambah semua huh? add in and divided by nine then i will get a median value middle value between 200 and 220 so take that value and replace all of the value here then i will get semua orang itu sama bau aja now all of them get the same taste then i achieve the purpose remove the pimples so what is the takeaway here if you want to remove the pimples or you learn about metrics huh? <laughs> so same thing happened if we, we can remove the pimples i can add in the lipstick right i can add in the lipstick already next one uh, mathematic form 5 chapter 5 we learn about network graph so to recap a little bit lah, if you learn something about this uh, we have two types of network graph weighted graph and also unweighted graph so on the right hand side here this is some example when we have a weighted graph that means it is a uh, oh, sorry when we have a direct graph that means in each of the graph i have the direction I have the magnitude, I have the value. I guess some of you can relate already. So I'm trying to map with uh, the Google Maps. Yeah. So 
uh, Google Maps or any GPS software is going to uh, help us to navigate from one point to another point. By using a direct graph, so I have the direction, uh, then I know the travel distance between one location to another location. Then uh, there is uh, many theories in AI, we call it as a best first search and also death first search or A star search or brief first search. They are much up, much up. So from here, uh, I can calculate the shortest distance in between. Let me continue. Also, in Form 4, Tingkatan 4, ya, Bab ke 9, Chapter 9, we learn about dependence event. Wow. This dependent event ah, memang ni. We learn about a probability of the intersections of two independent A and B, which is equivalent to the products of the probability of A, ba, 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 ba. Yeah. So what is the relationship between this one and also AI? Uh -huh. So there is a theory in a natural language processing, we call it as a part of speech tagging. So what is this part of speech tagging? This is actually English, you know, everybody. Yes, it is about English. So in English, uh, one word can represent uh, many meaning or many types of uh, thoughts. Example, she is a person pronoun. So I only have one event. No more argument. Two, T O two. Two is also uh, one event. No argument. Same thing happened with the word the is a determinant. So no argument. But things akan berlaku, things will happen when we have a one word that comes with two different events. Oh, two even event. So from here, I can say that uh, I'm trying to figure out uh, which word, uh, which part of speech is being assigned to the sentence. Is it she prom promised to back the bill? The word she is always a person pronoun. I can link to uh, VBN types of verb here, 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 here. This is one possible cases. Can we have more? Can we have another event happen? Another case happen? Yes. So please follow my uh, arrow. I'm going to use a blue color in this case. She going to VBN, going to N, but this round I go for RB. Continue. So uh NN is a noun. Oh NN is a noun. Uh JJ is the adjective. VB is a verb. Uh RB, I can't remember. So so sorry about that. So we're going to calculate which probability is the highest by using the theory in front, right? The theory here is this one. Okay. Then uh, I, I calculate something about this. So uh, the theory is using dependence uh, probability and there is an algorithm we call it as a hidden Markov models. Let me repeat. Hidden Markov model as indicated to you in the screen right now. Hidden Markov models. So what is hidden Markov model is? 
we're going to assume what is the thing that happened from an incident is solely related to the previous state. It's a bit complex, huh? Okay, so if you if you seeing people wearing singlets, I'm pretty sure that the weather of that day uh, could be a sunny day. If you seeing people wearing a long pants, most of the time it will be like uh, a little bit cloudy, a little bit sunny, but not snowing. Something happened. Jacket, uh, it's a snow lah. Huh? We are going to sing the let it go. <laughs> so the hidden Markov models tell us that not only something we can see, we can predict uh, another event, but also at the same times, uh, it's very unlikely that the winter is going to come immediately right after sunny day. So from here, I can say the probability, the probability of wearing a long pants is depends on two things. Probability of A and probability of B. So this is something similar with this one, which means that what is the probability the word coming right after the word TO2? As we learn in English lesson, usually when I give you a word TO2, what is the next word? It could be a noun. It could be a verb, and the verb itself must be a root word to study, to look, to win, to communicate. Yeah. So in this case, it's very unlikely that the word bad hair is an adjective, JJ. Okay, continue a little bit more. So why we learn about linear law? So linear law is happened in our additional mathematics form four, chapter six. So uh, if you forget about this, no worry. Uh, if eh, seems like I've heard it before, yes. So, um, in terms of the linear law, or in Bahasa Melayu, we call it as a hukum linear. So, the hukum linear is trying to tell us that if we are trying to form a straight line in a Cartesian. But how many of us is actually asking, you know, apa kena mengena linear law in our life? Apa kena mengena linear law in artificial intelligence? Uh, before I'm trying to do the mapping with AI, um, perhaps... I can ask some of you from your understanding uh, what is the use case, what is the application of this linear law in our life or any uh, example that you may think of right now. So please allow me to choose uh, randomly. Yeah? Uh, perhaps um, we can go for Vincent. Vincent, are you there? Vincent, my question uh, is how uh, any 
application, any use case of linear law. Perhaps you never learned about this, but based on my explanation just now, we're trying to draw a line. Or oh, anybody, anybody. If you already took the additional mathematics, point four. Can I have some response on this? This line, this line uh, is not a linear one. So this is not a common question like uh, satu ringgit beli tiga gula, dua ringgit beli berapa gula. Uh, that is linear. Ma. But if you look at the, the graph here, it's not linear, right? It's not straight line. Oh. That means uh, sometimes uh, I bagi you banyak duit. Nah. You pun tak dapat uh, gula yang begitu banyak mengikut satu ringgit beli tiga. No, cannot ma. So this kind of uh, non-linear, we're going to linear Gandhiya. <laughs> okay. So let me try to do a mapping. This is actually about machine learning under linear regression law. Uh, under linear regression law. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is something like when, example, there is a camera, you show to the camera uh, this photo of kuching. So the camera is going to tell you this is a kuching. This is not an anjing. Uh, um, a machine can learn something from us. Uh, next time, uh, you ask machine, uh, uh, saya ada lima ringgit. Berapa kue mue yang saya boleh dapat? Uh, itu itu linear. No, not good. Not good. No, not good example. Uh, maybe I would say that. Um, okay, COVID nineteen in Malaysia. We're trying to predict. You know, hmm. Hari ini we're going. We have like uh two thousand of. A positive of COVID-19 in Malaysia, whereby the next day uh, I get uh, how many. So I can do a prediction, something like this. In the example given, on the x-axis, this is a total uh, miles, total kilometers, for the example in our case. So if my car uh, I drive a total of uh, around this one. This is something around uh, 370. Yeah. So uh, how much uh, pay? How much I need to pay for the petrol? I get around uh, 30, uh, 30 lah, around 30. Yeah, so uh, we all know that the power, the transmissions, the CC coming from different car manufacturer, different models, they are different. So never mind, tapaya. Okay, uh, no, no worry. I plot all this graph. Plot. I plot it here. I plot it here. I plot it so many places. Huh? here, here, here. Now I I have a graph like this, and certainly this is not a linear graph. So how can we make it general? I put a straight line. Definitely not all the cases is suitable, lah, but, but for in, in this case, we're trying to use a linear one to achieve our goals. So that next time, when I have a new data coming in, for example, this one, 350. So in... Mathematics are in secondary school. Uh, we all learn that. Okay, I have a new data coming in. Then, uh, what is the value of y axis? So I tarik ah, tarik graph ah, tarik, tarik, tarik. So I put it like this. Ah, I know already. This is around thirty three. 
And this is our prediction. This is our foundation of machine learning. Let me give you one more. Um, this is about a prediction. Okay, so my x axis is uh, the height. I'm not sure whether I, I use a correct example or not. But never mind, this is about lesson, right? Okay, Gertingian. Gertingian, we have uh, not so tall and tall. Not so tall, eh? Okay, whereby for the hair, I have a short hair, I have a long hair. So if let's say I'm trying to plot all of the beautiful lady, all of the lady that appear in my life into this graph. Yeah, I have a I have a, a short hair lady whereby the height is not so tall. I'm at the hair. I'm at here as well. I also having another uh, which is quite high here. Quite high, uh, quite quite tall, uh, quite tall uh, on the x-axis. And the y-axis, the hair is uh, intermediate, not so long, not so short. So I may, 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 may. Then, uh, I can tell everybody, okay, uh, within this cluster, they are all my uh, ex-girlfriend. Uh, right now, I have a new girl uh, come into my life. Wow. Uh, which is this purple color. So this purple color, we're going to do prediction. Hey, predict to me, machine. Um, actually, uh, last day, I met a girl. So the hair is very long. The curtain the high, uh, also somewhere around here. So the machine is going to help me to do prediction. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Uh, do you think this uh, new woman is potentially my girlfriend? Yes or no? If you think it is a yes, that one for me in the chat room. If you think that no, based on the prediction, based on the models, this is never going to be my potential girlfriend. Two. One or two. Stop it for me. What do you think? Based on the models that I have been built. No worry, huh? nothing right or wrong. What do you think? It is a yes or it is a no? One or two? You can see from the, uh, the circle here, it is actually a yes because my prediction, if you're within this boundary, within this cluster, <laughs> just as a yes, 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 you are correct. So based on my prediction model, based on my machine learning models, it is a yes. Okay, uh, Trisha, thank you so much for your response. Lovely. So, okay. So that, that is uh, all about a little bit sharing of our uh, secondary school syllabus. So, uh, I hope you actually realize that AI is not something new. AI is actually come into our mind uh, when we have our secondary school study in the mathematics, uh, in the additional maths, 
in uh, physics as well, yeah. In physics, uh, sometimes it's going to be associated with biology, and we can actually use AI in chemistry as well. Yeah, there are so many uh, very useful uh, cases, very useful, very interesting thing. I can give you some example like in mathematics, why we learn log. I type in the chat room there. L O G log. Why we learn, learn log actually? Is it associated with AI? It definitely yes on everybody. So for those of you, if you are not sure, why we learn log? Is it we learn log because of we want to answer the question? Or there is a very useful cases in our daily life. If you're not sure about this, uh, please uh, check on our Google, our Mr. Google. It is actually free as long as you have the internet connections. So ask the Google why we learn law. For uh, those uh, secondary school teachers or maybe uh, you, if you are along with me starting on 9 a.m. morning just now, maybe you are the parents, um, in, order, in order to enlighten our kids, in order to... Uh, uh, motivate our students, our member, or you want to motivate yourself to learn mathematics, maybe you should ask yourself a question, why you learn this? Yeah, so uh, please uh, make sure that you check on uh, what is the usage, what is the application, what is the purpose of using log over Mr. Google? Yeah, so uh, before I end my sessions, uh, Let's go for a small quiz. And this is only one uh, question. So um, the fastest uh, participants today that uh, reply to me throughout uh, this uh, Zoom, throughout this Zoom platforms, and your answer is correct, then uh, later, please uh, let me know your uh, contact number and also your email. If um, you can just use the uh, direct message in this um, Google, uh, in this uh, Zoom, uh, let me know your contact number or your email address. And then uh, we will contact you after this to send you a small gift. So here we go. So it is a quiz, uh, everybody. So my question is, hidden Markov models, HMM, can be used for what? Repeat, hidden Markov models can be used for what? Just now, I go through uh, some example. So uh, count on three. You can just get the answer from any way. So put your answer in the chat room. The fastest and the correct answer will get a free gift from us. What is this hidden Marcos models can be used of? Country. One, two, and also three. Any answer? Maybe I can give you some X. Yes, Mingyi. We have uh, our participant here, Mingyi. So Mingyi, you get it correct. The, one of the applications of hidden Markov's models is NLP. So NLP is a natural language processing. We can use this one for us to determine uh, the role of a word uh, in a sentence. I would say, uh, Mingyi, uh, congratulates, yeah? you, you, you get the thing correct. Please uh, let me know your contact number and also your email address. 
you you can just uh text me uh in this zoom here or alternately uh you can email me at uh at my uh, email address yeah <laughs> okay so uh i guess we have uh come to the ends uh our of our sharing uh, sessions today so this is Dr. Tan I'm a senior lecturer and a program leader in Tau UMT my research interest is on artificial intelligence I'm teaching image processing as well as natural language processing so I hope you learn something I hope you uh, enjoy uh, that one so last but not least I would like to conclude the sessions with uh, our university education philosophy beyond education and here comes my personal quotes often I tell people around me AI is our future and the future is now so from the table of my own I hope everybody keep learning don't stop you know and now you can answer my question of my presentation today are you aware that ai is actually studied in secondary school i hope you enjoy that one i hope you learn something thank you so much i pass the microphone to our mc today thank you Thank you, Dr. Tan. Now we will go ahead and take some time for questions. Just a reminder, please type your question in the chat box. Mm. Okay, meanwhile, participants, you can fill up the sign out form and as well as the feedback form after the webinar. Now we would like to take the group photos with everyone in this webinar. Please turn on your camera and stand by. Okay, you may turn on your camera. Mm, I, I can see somebody turn on the camera already. Lovely, thank you so much. Okay, so now everyone ready? Three, two, one, smile. Okay, let's take a freestyle. Three, two, yeah. one, smile. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Dr. Tan, is there anything that you would like to cover before we wrap up? Uh, I think I'm good. Just hope that everyone keep learning, don't stop. All the best. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Dr. Tan, for the yeah. insightful webinar. Okay, dear participants, please join us for the webinar titled Technology Satellite Dalam Kehidupan at 10 a.m. today. Thank you and stay safe. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.